early December, I flew to the UK, to Manchester, to be at Smurf 2024, mainly for 3D printers. But there are some other cool things besides 3D printers for additive manufacturing. We have also some destructive machines as well. Not like a wrecking ball, but like in CNC. Let's find it out. We are here at Smurf 2024 and this guy is going to tell you all about the Milo 2.0? Yes, so we got a 2.0. So last year we were at Smurf, we actually worked on the V1.5, which was over there, and we released that to the public. Since then, we've had about 100 machines be created, and they're all out in the wild now. A year on from there, we're now back at Smurf. We've uh, announced V2. So V2 is going to be not a direct upgrade part from V1.5. It's going to be a ground-up new machine, and we're actually releasing two versions of it. So Tell me more about this whole setup right over here. Cool, so this is actually two separate projects. So CASA, which is our enclosure, uh, it's an LDL kit that's coming sometime later this year. We're not too sure. We will try and find out when it's actually shipping. But inside CASA, it fits Milo. So this is Milo, not Miley, like we said earlier. The table moves on this one instead of just a fixture plate. A few upgrades that we've seen from Milo V1.5. We've got, we've now got some magnetic way covers on the front end, so you don't get any chips. And we've got more magnetic ways on the back that just slide in there. We've got easy tram plates so instead of having to take the whole column apart now to tram everything like you had on had to do on v1.5 you only need to loosen three bolts and then you have two degrees of about the y-axis tram and because the column is connected in a very specific way it's a bit hard to show in the enclosure it's easier to tram for the nod as well we've also included this year the choice between either ball screws or lead screws so you get to choose between tr8 lead screws or 0802 ball screws which is once on this machine the tr8 lead screws are on this one over here pull that off there There's loads of little like quality of life improvements in terms of the actual build this time. A lot of feedback we had on V1.5 was perpendicularity of the X and Y axis. It was really hard to set up. In the XY plates, we've actually designed a few features in which allow some countersunk screws to press up against some dowels which press the carriage into the exact position that they need to be in order for them to be perpendicular to each axis. So as long as you get one rail on both sides and set it up like this, the perpendicularity will be close enough that you won't need to worry about it after the machine's assembled. These do get removed post actually installing the carriages, but once they get removed, they get reused later on in the design. So you're never really wasting any bolts or anything like that. Alongside V2, we can also announce that we've been working with Big Tree Tech. This is the Big Tree Tech Siler. We've been working with them to develop this board from the ground up for CNC. This isn't a 3D printer board like what uh, we had on V1.5. This runs 2160 stepper drivers, so up to 4.7 amps RMS and I think peak 6 amp or something like that. We have specific pro points, specific tool setter inputs, and we also have all the logic that you need to drive the VFD and the spindle in the board itself, so you don't need to get the old the, another daughter board like you had to with V1.5 kits. That's the old daughter board, so you had to have this on top of having the old board. Now it's all built into just this. For other machines, we've also announced the start of Atlas. So this is Atlas over here. This is just the Y-axis. The Y-axis alone for Atlas weighs the same amount as the whole of Milo. The idea it's behind- It's quite heavy then. Oh, it's heavy. This is going to be a machine that's gonna be in the range of about 100 to 150 kilos. And it's gonna be a Datron Neo kind of arcade machine style machine where it doesn't take up very much room, but you'll get twice the working area of a V2, but you also just, you need to make sure that you have the room for 150 kilos of machine. So that- Yeah, so not somewhere on your attic. No, definitely not in your attic. I'm putting it on a second floor in, a, in my spare bedroom uh, back at home. So that's going to be fun to see if it survives. But so, yeah. So a little side note, it's not for your attic, Zach. Sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. further? That's pretty much everything, yeah. Why is it called Miley? Milo was the original one. And because they, they share the same Z-axis and the same Y-axis, we thought it, would, it needed a very similar name. So Milo, Miley. So the twins. 
I was thinking like Miley, as in Miley Cyrus, Wrecking Ball, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, not quite, not quite. It's uh, it's more just because it it's it's close to mill, and these are mills, the CNC mills. Yeah, not not uh, material destroyers. Oh yeah, they're de material destroyers. They're yeah. just controlled material destroyers. Oh, okay, okay, very cool. Amazing. So those are the types of parts that we've used on, we made on old machines beforehand. So V1.5 is designed specifically to cut aluminium and other non-ferrous materials. However, a lot of members in our community have gone about cutting steel on these before. Right, so you can cut steel on it. I don't recommend it. It does take a bit of babysitting, but you can do it if you wanted to. Yeah, we can see. Yeah, so it does work out. Cool. So, uh, if people want to uh, buy these kind of kits yeah. to make amazing projects, where can they find it? Uh, if you're in the UK, the only reseller is DMS, who that man is a part of over there. LDO is one of the biggest distributors worldwide. They'll be making, they already got kits for V1.5. In the US, you can buy them from Fabrico, West 3D, all over the place, really. If you know a 3D printing store, they'll probably be stocking a Milo. V2 is going to be coming out later this year in about six months, hopefully. Depends on how well the last bit of the development goes. I will uh, I will put the links uh, in the description of the video, so if you want to buy one of these, check out the link in the description. Thank you. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing, like this video,